Who's the sleeper sharing a tent? I mean, got one t well, they've got one tent between them, have they? Yeah. But why don't they take two? A tent's not that big. So are they fighting now, or what? It was cold outside, he said, come in my tent. And then that happens. What do you think, Carl? I'm still none the wiser as to why they do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are they both gay? I think if you have sex with another bloke, you're generally considered if gay. You, if you're willing to pop your, um, John Thomas up, John or Thomas, yeah. I think you could be considered... As a rule of thumb. Thumb. <laughs> what I mean is, if they're mates, they're going across the western, whatever it's called, right? Across <laughs> the, the west, on their horses. They say, come on, come in here, it's cold, don't be sleeping out there by that rock. Get in the tent. They get in the tent, there's still no mention of gayness. Then, one of them does that. I know. Well, I don't it, know. It well, must have been planned, is what I'm saying. No. How do you know what your job is? <laughs> no! It's not like you know what your job because is. Because a man and a woman, it's like, well, we know what we've got to do here. But with them, there's different options. So who, who, how did they know what the job, whose job was what? Are you saying, how did they know who was on top, so to speak? Yeah, because it all happened pretty I quick. think you fight for it, I think it's first dibs, isn't it? Like bunks. Like bunk beds, isn't it? I don't know the rules, I don't well, know. I don't know what the rules are. I don't know, know what the rules are. But, um... But then what happens then, Steve, after that night? Because of the difficulties and constraints of the time in which they live, they, they have to live a lie, so they both get married to wives. Uh, but they maintain their love affair across the years and the decades. Yeah, but don't the wives get suspicious when they keep saying we're going camping again this weekend? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're very right, they do. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, you wouldn't suspect a cowboy, would you? Except the one in Village People. <laughs> yeah. He's the only, he's the, I thought he was the only cowboy. He's fairly. He's a little bit iffy. Yeah. I don't he know. Hang around, he acts around with a Native American who's normally the antithesis of the cowboy. The cowboy they, and the Indian, they hate each other. They hate each yeah, I know. Yeah. They're hanging out. So are you going to watch the rest of the film now? Have you, has it wet your appetite? Does it, could the film still happen even if they weren't gay? Is it just a cowboy film but that's a bit of filler? Let's just have another watch and see if there's anything else. Oh, what does he want to watch it again? Are you sure you want to watch it again? <laughs> Listen, if you want to watch it again, watch it again. Yeah. No, I'm just... What? But no, if you want to watch it again... If you want to watch it again, watch it again. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to watch it again. If you want to watch it again... <laughs>
Uh, Would you want to meet the pillar man? Yeah, it'd be all right. Well, how's he going to get in touch? <laughs> Siamese twins, I don't like because it's two. That'd be trickier. I don't think. What if one one of them liked you and the other one didn't? He couldn't stand you. Yeah, one was like, I love Carl Pumpton, he's brilliant. All right, Carl, you're coming out. Yeah, but I wouldn't want to put him in that situation because I can go home. They're still bickering. So, yeah, I don't want to meet them. Uh, Three legged juggler? Uh, yeah. What would he have to juggle for you to take your eyes off his legs? Well, that's the thing, though. He'd think I'd be getting him in to sort of do some juggling, and he might sit behind the desk and I'd go, oh. <laughs> Not interested in the juggling. I love the fact that you think you can get him in. You can hire this man who probably died a hundred years ago. The monkey, that was a fireman. Wasn't. Uh, just the idea of a cat with mops on its feet to clean the floor. That's that good invention that came out. I'm pretty sure that's not a real invention. And there's you washing up with your little trousers down. I mean, I must. I really must applaud the effort for this though, Carl. That's because most, um, no offence, sort of dimwits, uh, um, morons, cretins, uh, idiots, they think all this shit, but they don't bother... Putting it down. Yeah, and they certainly don't bother colouring it in. So, so well done, I think that's a, it's a brilliant book for anyone who's got, you know, really nothing else to do, or feel that they're sort of given to a worthy cause. Um, and that's available now on Amazon.com or Amazon.co.uk and it's, what is it, like 200 pages and it's got all these illustrations and yeah. great stories and a forward by me in which I, I mean I'm basically going on about Carl being an idiot which is the only truthful thing in the book I, I, I'm pretty sure of that good, so well done Have you ever been in a, a hospital when it's been shut down or a school when there's no kids in it and there's that sort of bad atmosphere of like weirdness? Yeah. Right? For so, the sake of argument, yeah. <laughs> We're wandering about and I say, oh yeah, what's in this room, right? And all the floors are like a wreck and rotten and stuff. Oh my god. There's a little sign there, right? And I go up to it and it says, flies this way. <laughs> so I follow the arrow, which goes to this corner where there's a shelf, about 3,000 dead flies on it, condom stuck on the top. <laughs> right. right. You might remember in the first podcast, I was telling you about uh, this scary house that my mate lives in, where he's like uh, a security man. You're not, you're not like a security man, are you? What are you? Well, I just look after it. You just look after it and that. He just looks after it. So this is it, because I thought I'd show you around it, because just in case you thought I'd made it up and that, about the, uh, the bit about the flies and all that, where there's flies on the shelf and stuff. So this is the sort of state, I was telling you how it's a mess. This is it. Ceiling's caving in over there. That's just there. Pair of pants. Right then, we've uh, found the room that I was talking about on the podcast uh, with the dead flies and that on it. Uh, this is the sign that, uh, that I was telling you about. Got a fly on it, right? Little arrow. There's flies here, look. Little ladybird there. Oh, flies attacking the ladybird and that. Right, so you've got that. So follow it along, right, you think, well, there's nothing there, and you've got 
You can get the camera up there, right? Look at that lot. I did it, dead flies. I'm just showing you this because some people have said, oh, you made it up and all that. But there's no way, just for the sake of the podcast, I'd go around collecting that many dead flies. Uh, there's a condom as well that I was talking about. Weird, isn't it? Hi, I'm Ricky Gervais, here on the set of Extras, Extras 2, coming soon, people are busy working away and uh, they're annoying me a little bit because I'm trying to do this, so I'm in track. Shut up! That's power. Okay, back to work. Um, and uh, 14th September, the new series starts. Um, we're here filming a scene for the final episode, actually. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you around, shall I? Okay. I know what you're thinking. What hospital are we filming in? It's not a hospital. She's not a real nurse. <laughs> We just put this in. Hey? Do these look ill? <laughs> Bad example. <laughs> We're going into the main studio now. We're just using a little corridor there for our hospital. Studio. Yeah, I think we are. <laughs> oi, oi, who's this little place? Excuse me. Yeah, can I help you? It's Robert Lindsay off oh, my right. family. Well, not just my family. Citizen Smith GBH. Repeated soon on E4. One of the best drama series in the last 25 years. What are you doing here, Robert? Well, I. Why am I? Yeah, I'm, I've been asked to work with you two. That's an exclusive. That's not out. That's something the papers haven't got. Robert Lindsay's an extras as well. There's a little bonus for you. So, there's a little teaser of uh, Extras 2 coming soon. Um, September the 14th, BBC 2, 10 o'clock. Um, but check out the website. Uh, I'll do one of these every few days. Um, oh. Oh, sorry. I've gone toilet. Oh, I've gone toilet. Can you empty it? Can you empty it?